And then let's leap down to this room. And this will be our last guard to free. Or guard Gerudo. I mean, Carpenter. Have your arrow ready because this Gerudo is going to walk by in a second. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. I'm running out of arrows. But unless I get caught by this Gerudo and fixing a fight, I won't have to worry about arrows anymore. So, Okay, come in here. God, how many cows did they kill? Jesus. Alright, this is our last carpenter, so let's just fight the last Gerudo. Alright, this is our last battle. This is the final battle. Alright, after defeating this Gerudo, that'll take care of all the Gerudo guards, and then we'll be we'll free all the carpenters. Okay. They can go sing songs with the doors and the nine inch nails. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that jump attack. You want to kind of avoid because I think she'll like hit you in while you're in the air. And I think if she does that, she might catch you. Oh man, that was tough. She almost did that thing. Oh. All right, and that's the last one. Now we have freed all the carpenters. All right, let's talk to you. Eh, I almost did, but Shiro. Something interesting. Oh, this has got to be good. Let's find out. Eye of Truth. Well, I have the lying eye, so... Sorry! Tent near Gerudo Valley. Okay, drop by. Bye ye! <laughs> Alright, see you later, Shiro. Oh, crap. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here. You must have good thieving skills. No, I'm just awesome. What are you saying? I used to think that all men, besides the great Ganondorf, were useless. But, eh, that's kind of true, actually. Other than changing your oil. The exalted Namuru, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. You did a good job. Namuru is second in command of the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. So, she's ba so Namuru is basically the Michelle Obama of this game. Her headquarters are in the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Yay, my lifelong dream of becoming a chick. Yay, now I love women. And I am a woman now. Yay. I feel like a woman, just like Shania Twain. Now let's cherish this lady, because we're never going to see her ever again. Jesus Christ, look at those tiny feet she has. What size shoe does she wear? Negative three? You people killed cows. I don't want to join you. You can forget it. You guys suck. Aha. Uh -huh. Link sucks. Link is stupid. Link has no friends. Link is... Oh, wait. No, Link. No. Dude, I was kidding. No. <laughs> right, so that'll do it for sneaking around and doing all that bull crap. Um, so the Gerudos are now my friends. Link finally has some friends, guys. That's that's something good to know. Uh, but we're not quite done with the fortress area. So yeah, as you can see, they're not going to throw me out. They're actually on my side now. So they're actually not as sexist as we thought they were. Oh, no, let me alone. Don't you hate that? Yeah, it happens so much, you try to roll in Zelda and you end up talking to somebody. Or reading a sign. Or doing some other crap. Alright, we're going to go to the top of the fortress. Watch your jump here. You don't want to fall down there. That would have been a nasty fall. Okay, here's some convenient vines. I don't know if they put that there for the convenience of getting up here. Or if they just haven't really kept up with the upkeep of this place. Or maybe Poison Ivy's been hanging out here, I don't know. Alright, well, over there. No, not the bow. Come on, Link. Get in the game, buddy. There's a treasure chest. Let's get over there and let's see what it is. Oh, I bet it's amazing. I mean, if we came all the way to the top of the fortress for this, it's got to be something incredible. It's got to be a brand new item or something even shiny and not... It's a piece of heart! That's right. With two pieces, two more. We've almost got all the heart pieces in the whole game. So, uh, It's a good thing they put a piece of heart up here, though. 
You should have seen what they originally put at the top of the fortress. They make me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. I don't know if I've quite mentioned this yet, but when Navi kind of floats around and gets green like that, that actually means that you can summon a fairy. <laughs> what the heck just happened there? Oh god. You can actually summon a fairy. Or, or she kind of means like there's a secret there, so usually you have to play your Song of Storms. Sometimes it'll summon a pink fairy to heal you, and then sometimes it'll like open a secret grotto. But a lot of times it's just not something mandatory or anything. So I don't usually don't bother with them. Uh, this is the Gerudo training ground, but we're not going to do that yet because uh, we can't complete it without a certain item. And I do not have that item yet, unfortunately. Which pretty much means that, yes, there are more items in the game. Hoo hoo hoo. But I will be coming back and completing that later on, but it's going to be more of an epilogue type of thing. But I'll get to that later. Up here we have an obstacle course. Be sure to talk to this woman on the horse, on Epona, or else she'll just be like, hey, you need a horse. She'll be like, quit horsing around and get a horse. All right, so we're going to try this for 20 rupees. The first time we got to get a thousand points, but getting a thousand points is really not difficult at all. Um, of course, now that I've said that, it's probably going to be difficult. Um, basically, we got to use our bow to get rid of these pots and shoot a couple of these targets. Break the targets! Um, yeah, okay, well I've got 620. I'm actually doing horrible right now than I normally do. I'm not used to doing this with commentary, so please bear with me. Um, there we go, 100, 100, 100, uh, nope, not 100. Um, okay, there we go, 1,000. Yeah, getting 1,000 is a cinch. Um, so there, that takes care of a thousand. So then we get our first prize, which is, of course, a piece of heart. Yummy. For some reason, it takes you off the horse. I don't know why, because you just got to get on the horse again. But now we're going to do this a second time. Talk to the fine woman. And this time, we got to get 1,500 points. This isn't incredibly hard, but it might take you a couple of tries, especially if you've never done this before. Um, so if I mess up, I'll probably just cut to the successful try of this. Um, so if that happens, I'll see you then. Epona is an awesome horse. I have faith in you, although it really has nothing to do with you. It has to do with me. Whether or not I suck or not. 950, that's a little bit better than I had last time. I think at that point, last time I had like 800 and something. Let's try to get 100. 100? 100? No, oh, 60, okay. Ah, 60. Might be able to get it. Yep, yeah, there we go. 1560, there we go. Yeah, it's not that difficult, but it may take a couple of tries. I'll be darned. And then we get a second prize for this. And we get the biggest quiver. I quiver over the biggest quiver. Now we can hold 50 arrows. The maximum amount. Thanks, honey. And no, we can't get on the horse. You can actually get on the other horses at Lon Lon Ranch, but I didn't think we could do that. Opponent can actually knock these signs. Can actually destroy those signs. I don't know if anyone knew that or not. Uh, but that'll do it for the good old... Gerudo Fortress. Um, and by getting that upgrade, you know, the quiver, that actually filled up our arrows as well. Because I only had like one arrow, literally. Um, but sadly, we're going to have to say goodbye to both the fortress and our noble steed. Because we're going to be saying goodbye to her. Because actually, we can't go too much further with her. But now we got to open the gate. So let's go up here and open the gate. Navi's talking to me. Let me see what she wants. What do you want, honey? The desert? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Shut up. That's where I'm going right now. Alright, talk to this doll. And she will open the gate for you. With her... She has, like, this almighty clap that she does. 
I'm gonna skip this because she's just telling me stuff that I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> wow. All she has to do is clap and it opens the gate. Wow. I guess they'll never need a locksmith then, will they? <laughs> oh no, I got my key stuck in the car. Okay, clap my hands. Let's fall down. Yeah, I don't really like to skip dialogue and text too much, but... You know, I mean, it's mostly just because I have to fit all this into 11 minutes, so... I can't really waste the video with a bunch of talking that's not really that important. And here we are in the Haunted Wasteland. I don't think I'm gonna be able to quite make it past this in time, but... Oh. Okay. This area is not tough, but... You have to... It seems like sometimes it messes you up, even though... Um... You're doing it properly. I don't know what it is. Over here, we have this magic carpet guy. Squadilla! 